Okay, so what I've got here is a ring that contains one octave of C major going from middle C to the C above middle C. And because we're using the tick command and we're sleeping and we're going around in a loop, then what's happening is Sonic Pi is playing each note from my ring in turn. And we're just going up the scale for one octave and then we're going back to the beginning and going up once more. That's kind of okay when we only want one octave, but imagine if we wanted three or four octaves of a scale to be contained within one of these Sonic Pi rings. That would take quite a long time to write out and work out all of the MIDI numbers that we'd need to create that ring. But never fear, Sonic Pi has a really simple way of generating a ring of a scale or a chord that we want really, really quickly. So we can generate this ring that gives us C major for one octave by replacing our ring information with something else. If I write scale inside the brackets and I say I want to start on 60 and then I write a comma, then what you see is we get this whole long list of all the possible scales that Sonic Pi knows about. And as you can see, it knows loads and loads and loads of scales and it's definitely worth having a good dig around in this list and seeing what kind of scales you want to use in your compositions because I've certainly discovered a couple of new scales that I didn't even know about and had to go and have a little bit of a research session to find out what they mean and how they're generated. For the purposes of this I just want to replace my C major scale that I had before so if I select major in here then this, this will give me because by default we get one octave when we use this scale command and got to remember that all we're doing is replacing that ring we had before with all those numbers we've now been able to say what I want is a scale starting on note 60 that's a major flavor of scale and I want to tick through that scale uh, once every quarter of a second and that's what this sleep command is doing so this should sound exactly the same as what we had at the beginning of the video but hopefully that looks a lot more straightforward and easy to type on the screen there is just one more thing we can do with these scale rings and that's just increase the number of octaves that we have in our ring and this is where this becomes really powerful because obviously I wrote out all the numbers for one scale of C major and there's eight of those. If I want to keep doing that I have to keep writing more and more numbers out but instead here I can just write num underscore octaves and say I want four octaves of C major starting on middle C then this command will just generate that ring for me and it will have loads and loads and loads of items in this list and it was only a few more presses on my keyboard and I was able to add three more octaves to my ring so let's have a listen to that it's just going to keep going for another octave and another octave and then it's gone back to the beginning again I was pretty excited when I discovered I could do this because there's all kinds of musical elements that run off some kind of repeated pattern drawing notes from one particular scale. Let's imagine we were trying to do a, a bass line. So we don't want to start on 60. Let's say we want to start on the C that is two octaves below that and we want to have two octaves of scale and let's use a different synthesizer because I want to try and create a kind of um, bass line thing and lots of bass lines particularly music I like uses a minor pentatonic so I'm going to use that scale instead and I don't want to tick this time I want to choose and maybe let's have the notes lasting for a little bit longer and what this is going to, what this is going to do is it's just going to jump around that scale and pick some notes out and give me an interesting bass line that's kind of random but it's not that random because it's drawing notes out of that minor pentatonic and if you've done any jamming in a jam session you've played in some kind of rock band you know that the minor pentatonic is your kind of go-to scale for any situation where you're improvising so this isn't going to sound that random this is actually going to sound pretty much like lots of funk jazz bass lines that exist <laughs> 